अब इसका मीनिंग समझिए इफ आई टेल यू अ क्वेश्चन नाउ लेट डू अनदर क्वेश्चन द सेम बॉडी 200 हंड्रेड मीटर पर सेकेंड से फेंक रहे हैं हॉरिजॉन्टल से 60 डिग्री एंगल बना हुआ है बट दिस बॉडी इज नॉट बींग थ्रोन फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड आई एम थ्रोइंग दिस बॉडी फ्रॉम अ बिल्डिंग एंड द बिल्डिंग इज 1000 थाउजेंड मीटर हाई दिस इज द बिल्डिंग This is a building from where I am throwing it. This is a building. Now, please tell me, this body will go like this and fall down on the ground. Yes. Tell me. Total time of flight. Tell me the total range. दोनों चीजें बताइए. कोशिश करिए फिर बाद में डिस्कस करते हैं स्टोरी. Tell me the total time of flight and the range. The height of the building is one thousand meters. A body is thrown at initial velocity 200 meter per second, aiming at an angle 60 degrees, and it goes like this and falls down on the ground. It is thrown from the top of a building which is 1000 meter high. You have to tell me what is the total time of flight and what is the range. Do it fast, as fast as possible. Yeah, please tell me the answer. I see you. The time I got is. Ten. And range? By two. By two. Two cancels. Again, twenty twenty. And and range? Hundred into time, right? Perfect. So whatever is the time, horizontal velocity remains constant. So hundred is the initial horizontal velocity, which will throughout the journey, because there is no horizontal force, no horizontal acceleration, so it will remain constant. So hundred into time of flight will be the answer. Surbi, how did you find the time? Please tell me. डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूला फॉर रेंज एंड टाइम वाई कैंट बी यूज दैट बिकॉज इन दैट फॉर्मूला वाई कैलकुलेटिंग दो फॉर्मुले वी आर टेकन वर्टिकल डिस्प्लेसमेंट एज जीरो If the body is falling at the same level, then we will use that formula. But here, the level is different. The initial point is here. Finally, vertical displacement is not zero, so you can't use those formula. So please be crystal clear on this. And in IIT, they will be the last people to do give you something which is directly based on formula. Now please be very attentive. I'll do this question for you. Where is the initial position? Please tell me. How is it? On the top of the building. Yes. Initial position is here. Where is the final position? That is wrong. Now, now initial position to final position. I want to study the motion. Suppose I want to find the time. So I have told you which which motion will give you time? Vertical. Vertical. Ninety nine percent vertical motion. So let's find out time. For vertical motion, what all do I know? Please tell me. Initial vertical velocity, how much? Hundred meters per second. Direction? Upwards. Acceleration? Ten meters per second. Downwards. Downwards. Displacement in vertical direction. Be alert. Downwards. Downwards. And what do I need to calculate? Time. Which equation? S is equal to eighty plus half eighty square. Which direction positive? Upwards. Upwards. मेरा मन कर रहा है downward. ऐसे ही मन कर रहा है. तो आपकी नहीं चलेगी, मेरी चलेगी. I am the boss here. Yes. जबरदस्ती आप बोल रहे हो. मेरी कभी भी नहीं चलेगी. Now, please see this. So I have taken downward positive. So thousand is equal to 
ut plus half a t square minus 100 root 3 t plus half a t square 5 t square. Now, 5 can be cancelled. So, I will get t square minus 20 root 3 square minus 20 root 3 t minus 2 only. This is the quantitative equation. Now, you have been doing quantitative equation for almost 2 weeks. So, you know the root. So, t is equal to minus b plus minus root of b square, which will be how much? 400 into 3. 1200. Plus 800. Upon 2a. Now, this will be 2000. 2000 will be 20 root 5. 20 root 5. Perfect. 20 root 5. And 2 will get cancelled. Perfect. So, one answer is, please pay attention. We got time is equal to 10 root 3 plus minus 10 root 5. Now, I understand many of you. <laughs> See how it <laughs> Okay. Nice way of testing you, na? <laughs> now you, that means you have not understood my level of intelligence. But I, forgive you because I have to say, yeah, plus 10 root 5. If I take 10 root 3 minus 10 root 5, it's a negative thing. Time cannot be negative, right? But mathematics is something which doesn't care for the physicality and there is a meaning to that negative time. Can anyone think and tell me what is the meaning attached to that negative time? Think. Yes. The point. Sir, before at that negative time that uh, uh, body was at, at the zero height. Yeah, at level ground, zero, zero meters. Is there anyone else who wants to comment about the negative time? Yeah, I think How do you know the negative time? <laughs> 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 One minute, just see this. She is right. That boy was also right. And that boy is not a duffer. The girl behind him is. Please understand that. Now that boy was saying the right thing. Now please see this. What is the meaning of negative time here? If suppose this is zero. This is the meaning of negative time here. If suppose this motion of this stone was happening and it was earlier like this. See, calculated for vertical displacement to be 1000 downward. That means at this level. It was at this level finally, if it was the motion had continued and it started, had it started from here, suppose the same projectile motion, had it started from here, then itna time pehle, it was here. Ya fir aise boliye beginning se itne time baad yahan pe pahuncha aur fir uske itne time baad yahan pahuncha please understand this so the negative time also has some meaning that had this motion been happening as it was happening later usko continue karne ke liye pehle wala jo motion chahiye which is a unique solution agar wo pehle se aise motion ho raha hota to itne time pehle yahan pe hota or itne time baad yahan pe hota aur yahan pe t is equal to 0 hai hamara so this mathematical solution also has a meaning attached to it whenever in projectile you will find two times there will be a meaning attached to it somewhere it will be used very intelligently today i am warning it maybe in some exam i'll frame a very beautiful question on this so just be attentive and let me see how many of you remember this thing later